to what's percolating. It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson, back with another sneaker video. Before we get started, make sure you click on the gear button below and watch this in 720 HD. This year's All-Star Pack is definitely fresh, although I like last year's a lot better overall. I wanted a couple of the sneakers this year, but I didn't want to camp for them. So me and my bro, Young Buckets, decided we were just gonna try our luck on Nike store. This is my first pair of Kobe 8s. I was sleeping on the 8s crazy, slept on the Christmas joints, slept on the Pythons. Now I gotta track both of those pairs down in the future. There was no way I was gonna snooze on these two. In person, they are definitely ill. I'm glad I was able to get my paws on them. But enough of all the yapping, let's take a gander. Kobe 8 system box with the Area 72 sticker basically says these joints are toxic and should not be trifled with. Size 13, retail is 180 smackaroos, but I think this shoe is worth it and I'm about to show you why. First off, peep the newspaper they threw in here, nothing like a little reading material. A dude like me, I just take the sports section and the funnies and break out, leave the rest for whoever. So the packaging is definitely a nice touch, but at the end of the day, it's all about the kicks. Bang, bang, the Kobe 8 extraterrestrial tell me these don't pop these joints are ferocious a lot of people were saying these look like pizza call them whenever you want to as long as you put fresh on the end of it because these are official this is that raised pizza down on west fourth this is what the teenage mutant ninja turtles were snacking on in the sewer these are the michelangelo's right here crack a bunga you got the all lava upper this is straight volcano status Yo, who remembers the lava game though, where you had to jump around the crib from one piece of furniture to the next without hitting the floor? That was the original real life temple run. <laughs> Me and my bros would be so serious too, like if we hit the floor it was really a wrap. <laughs> life and death. You guys know I'm not an expert on materials, but this looks like an engineered mesh. Glow in the dark Aquaman swoosh. Peep the designs, you got all types of wrenches and hammers. Tim the Tool Man Taylor Steez. Yeah, this reminds me of Home Improvement, where you had the neighbor who only showed the top of his head. He had the uh, little chubby sidekick with the Rick Ross beard. Tangerine tongue, and I don't even know what this is. It's like a yoga mat. Speaking of which, shout out to all the babes in yoga pants. Dan Marino laces. Tell me this whole ensemble doesn't remind you of the Miami Dolphins. Laces out, Dan. Mamba logo up top. Popping kind of nice with that grapefruit hit in the middle. Same grapefruit on the lace tips and on the eyelets as well. Oh, and this teal, just like the swoosh, actually glows in the dark also. You got the little turquoise swoosh on the inner part of the shoe on top of this Tropicana leather. This dead ass looks like an orange peel texture and everything. And it actually wraps all the way around to the back of the shoe. Vanilla heel cap. Plastic with the Kobe Sig, Sherbert Kobe logo underneath. The back of the shoe kind of has a creamsicle feel to it. Galaxy interior with the Jimmy Neutron insole. These did not come with the Nike chip, but they have the capabilities if you are so inclined. You can scope the math, the production dates, and all that jazz. Exciting, I know. And one of the coolest details of the shoe is this snake on the back of the tongue. My man has the planet in a straight chokehold. You got the coconut midsole. And it actually has a coconut texture to it, a little bit rough. I dig that. Then you got this coating around the back, which basically says Kobe Bean Bryant is the illest human being on the planet. You're welcome. Watermelon Sour Patch Bottoms. I know everyone's probably had Sour Patch Kids, but are you up on the ones that actually look like watermelons? Come on, YouTube, step your candy game up. I could murk a bag of those easy. In the middle and on the side, you got the carbon fiber blacked out. This is that CIA suburban enemy of the state tint. Big ups to the Fresh Prince. Overall, sick pair of kicks. I'm glad I was able to get them because I missed on most of the pack. This is just a well-executed piece of footwear. These joints are definitely fuego my ego. So that is it for the review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as always. And if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and tap on that subscribe button as well. I got a gang of videos coming soon. I'm talking like a video a day for the next week and a half. So definitely stay tuned. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And I actually just started up a blog too. Mr. Fomer Simpson.blogspot.com. I'll put the link below. 
I'm going to be talking about all kind of random stuff, not just sneakers, so go ahead and peep that if you got a minute. I almost forgot a Cage Apparel sent me this Fighter Jet T. Now, I personally passed on the Fighter Jet foams, but if you got the foams and you're looking for a T to match it, bang, bang. My man is getting his rabbit hump on right there. <laughs> on the back, you can see F the World. The link to the store is below, so if you're interested, go check them out. You can get free shipping if you use the promo code FOMER, all caps. So go check them out if you're interested. But that is pretty much it. So until next time, you know how we do. Mr. Former Simpson, out. Laces out, Dan. That's why Roger Predactor's dead. He found Captain Winky. <laughs>